Hello everyone and welcome to Pardot series. Today we are at day two and we will be learning about unifying sales and marketing process in Pardot. A very quick introduction about myself. My name is Lakhan Megani. I'm working as a Salesforce developer at Aria Technologies. I'm the proud Salesforce marketing champion. I'm Forex Salesforce certified, including Pardot specialist. I love to spend time on Trailblazer Answer community. And I am the Salesforce Trailblazer community speaker as well. Below are my Twitter and LinkedIn handles and feel free to connect me over Twitter and LinkedIn. Our today's agenda is introduction to marketing in Pardot, marketing and sales process alignment with Pardot, configure the Pardot manage package and configurations for the sales cloud, begin your Pardot journey by signing up on the Pardot guided tools. Introduction to marketing. So let's consider an example of Flipkart. In our day to day life, uh, we often use Flipkart for the shopping. And let's consider you open your Flipkart and you are trying to search for some t shirts of any brand. And maybe after some time, you found an appropriate product or appropriate t shirt for yourself and you are, and you add it in a cart it means we have shown our end user or customer has shown the interest in the t-shirt or product which flipkart is selling and we added that product into our cart so what flipkart does here it captures users interest based on whatever you serve and whatever you add into the cart of Flipkart. And based on your activity on the app, it sends a discount emails or communication emails to the customer or user who is using Flipkart. So maybe at that time, user receive 20% discount, let's assume 30% discount. And based on the discount or, you know, based on the MRP or low price, whatever we are getting, with respect to that end user take decision whether he has to buy the t-shirt or not. And this is how the entire process of Flipkart works. So the communication between end user and the Flipkart with respect to mails, with respect to SMS, whatever you are getting is termed as the marketing. So what is covered here? So in the communication emails, they try to enhance or grab your interest in that product. And based on that, they give you the discounts on product, whatever you purchase from the Flipkart. So this is how marketing works. So it captures, so mar marketing mainly captures the user's interest in their product and how user is interested to buy or purchase the product and how company is interested to sell the product to you and based on your activity all the communication happens between customer and the service provider marketing and sales alignment in the pardot so as we discussed in the example of flipkart so Pardot also nurtures the leads or prospects based on the prospect activities on web. So here on the activities, whatever prospect or visitor is doing on the website, Pardot captures the interest. So for example, you have viewed any landing page on the website. Let's assume a pricing page of any branded t-shirt you have visited. So that is nothing but your interest in the t-shirt that you have shown to the service provider. So this is how Pardot also captures the interest of prospect on particular product. If I compare the same example with the Flipkart, in Flipkart also, you have added the product into the cart and this is how Flipkart is capturing your interest or maybe your activities on the app, whatever you are searching or which type of t-shirt or products you are searching and based on that it is capturing your interest after capturing your 
interest or activities on the web pardot is useful to assign a score to the prospects so let's assume you have visited any of the uh, you know product pages of website and you have filled the form there saying that you are interested in this this product and uh, you want some discount or you want to buy that product so right after filling that form a prospect is created into the par dot so earlier it was visitor visitor is nothing but whomsoever is going or visiting to your website now that visitor has filled the form and it is converted into the prospect into the par dot after filling the form so par dot web activities whatever he has done on the website based on that par dot assign some score to that prospect which is created in the par dot now so based on that par dot that lead is termed as a marketing qualified lead if score is up to you know certain limit let's assume score greater than 50 based on whatever criteria marketer has defined for the specific system so that lead if the lead score turned up to greater than 50 or whatever marketer has defined so that lead is termed as a marketing qualified lead and now here the marketing stuff is done now end user has filled the form and he has shown the interest in your product now it's time sales guys can reach reach to that end user and talk about what exactly they are looking for or maybe closing the deal or making them as a customer now what happened in the par dot you already have defined the score saying that if score let's assume it is greater than 50 then we are calling that as a marketing qualified lead it means it's a quality lead and salesperson can reach out to that lead now marketing qualified lead gets synced into the salesforce crm and it will get assigned to the salesperson whomsoever will be reaching out to that end user who was interested in your product now it's time sales guy will reach out and he will make a call and he will do the sales process whatever organization is following here and he will discuss about the product with the end user and based on the communication it uh, it will lead into the conclusion whether end user is interested to buy your product or not so this is how sales and marketing process are connected in pardot with crm now how it helps so let's assume there are thousands of people who are coming to your website okay but if five are filling the form it means they are most interested or most valuable prospects for you so this is how marketing helps to salesperson so here if five are filling the form and marketer has defined the score if lead score greater than 50 then only sync the data to crm so this helps salesperson to reach out to the quality leads which he got from the marketer and this is how sales and marketing process are aligned with each other now let's assume if there is no marketing and no marketing piece exists here and let's assume there are thousand prospects who are visiting to your website so what happened salesperson will receive daily thousand leads if daily thousand people are surfing on your website so now it's very difficult for salesperson to identify which is the quality lead and which is which is just the visitors so this is how marketing play the major role in order to identify the right right leads or right prospects for the salesperson in order to make the conversions very easily so if salesperson will get the quality leads so he can make more convergence or more lead convergence in the less time which eventually generates more revenue for the company in a very less time 
so this is how salesforce salesforce and pardot are aligned which are responsible for aligning the sales and marketing in pardot now let's set up a pardot org so there is there is no free org uh, which pardot provide but there is a pardot guided tour uh, and with the help of that we can do some hands on on pardot so you can sign up on this pardot guided tour link here so after clicking on this link you will receive this form here and in, after filling the form it's a simple sign up page uh, like we sign up our salesforce dev org after signing up this maybe after 10 or 15 minutes you will receive your email and you can set up your password and log in the pardot instance now there are a couple of steps in pardot to set up your pardot instance and in the pardot guided tour there are limited functionalities which you can access the next step is the package installation in pardot so there is a app for app exchange for the pardot to install it in your org so this is uh, the production instance whatever uh, the uh, pardot guided tour you have logged in and you can install the this package into your pardot instance let me log in quickly So once you log in your pardot instance and open this package so you can install the package into your pardot instance so you can simply click on install for all users and you can click on install now in my org i already have the package installs hence it is showing the upgrade option here but you will probably see the install option in your pardot instance so there are a couple of permissions or configurations which we have to do in the pardot instance in order to set up our pardot account so very first is assign access of pardot connected app so let's see this configuration one by one into the system so i will log in my pardot instance here and here you can search for connected manage connected apps and here you can see very first b2b ma canvas you have to click on edit and you have to make sure here permitted user is selected as admin approved users are pre-authorized and you have to simply click on save so this was the first setting you have to make sure it is available into your pardot instance now second thing whomsoever is the pardot connected user or whomsoever is the integration user it must have either sales or service or crm user license so what we have to do here is we have to navigate to the permission sets we have to select any of the available license either sales or service or crm license and assign it to the user so let's navigate to the org and check out which permissions permission set we have available so i will simply go to setup and permission sets and here you can see sales cloud user is available so we will go with the sales cloud user and we will click on manage assignments and after clicking on manage assignment you have to make sure your user has access of this permission set so you have to simply select here the checkbox and click on the assign permission done so this was the second step which you have to make sure while configuring the pardot the third step is go to the marketing setup and make sure pardot lightning is enabled for your instance so let's jump back to the pardot instance and uh, make sure the 
R dot lightning is enabled for the system. So after clicking on the setup button, you can see the marketing setup. And after clicking on the marketing setup, you have to click on setup assistant. And you have to expand this section. And you can see the permission this let your user work in Pardot without leaving the Salesforce. The Pardot Lightning app is available only to admins and unless you configure permission for users. And you have to make sure this permission is on in your instance so that you can access the Pardot Lightning app into the org. Let's move on to the next permission app permission for Pardot Lightning app. So let's jump onto the org and we have to go into the setup and in the setup, you have to search for app manager. So here you can see two Pardot apps which are available. One is one is Pardot inspect and other is Pardot app v1. So here, if you see the Pardot type, one is lightning and another is classic. So we have to edit the lightning because we have enabled the lightning permission. And after editing the app, you have to go to the user profile. And you just have to make sure system admin is available in this selected profiles. If it is available, then all good. If it is not, you have to add the system admin profile for the Pardot Lightning app. Similarly, there is another setting, which is nothing but Pardot account setup. And here you just have to give the name of any business unit and the name of business unit admin. So maybe you can give you a username and you have to simply click on save button. Now the last permission is resume the sync. So you have to go to the Pardot instance. You have to click on the app launcher and you have to search about the Pardot settings. Once you go into the Pardot setting, you will see the connectors here. And in the connector, if it is paused, then you have to click on resume. So now in my instance, it is already resume sync. If it is paused, then you have to click on the resume sync and you will be able to access the Pardot Lightning app now because all the configurations are done. You just have to simply search the Pardot here. Click on view more and you can see Pardot Lightning app, B2B marketing automation tool Pardot. You have to click on here and you are all set with your Pardot Lightning app on your machine. Similarly, you can access the Pardot Classic app as well. You have to click on pi.demo.pardot.com and you have to click on Login with Salesforce. Once you click on Login with Salesforce, you can access the Pardot Classic app as well into the Pardot. So this is how the steps which are essential for setting up the Pardot instance thank you so much for joining the session and thank you so much for listening the session feel free to connect us on the below mentioned handles thank you so much apexas for organizing the r dot series